Boral's really excited to be delivering the asphalt to the runway surface at the new Western Sydney International Airport. It's 3.7 kilometres long, there's concrete at each other end, asphalt in between, taxiways that are connected to the terminal are also topped with asphalt, all up about 150,000 tonnes. Worrell was chosen from a short list of other surfacing contractors on this job. We've got a good track record and with an integrated supply chain, we could control everything from beginning to end. You've got a lot of risk with landing an aircraft. There's a lot of people on it. Planes always land in a similar place and that actually means you need a special kind of asphalt to stand up to that sort of uh, exposure of the environment. We're getting our aggregates from Borrell's Quarry down at Dunmore and our quarry out at Pepper Tree. And then the asphalt team oversaw the build of the mobile asphalt plant. We've got Borrell Logistics supplying our trucks and delivering our product to us. Borrell Cement's giving us the lime. It's been a great story all around, actually. This is a project that's going to touch all parts of our business and it's just something that makes us all really super proud. DMG part of Borrell, they are um, engaged to deliver the civils. We're responsible for the placement of about 85 cubes of concrete for the excavation, the form at work, steel reinforcement and concrete placement to the foundations. So these foundations are going to house some of the asphalt plant storage material and the silos as well as the way bridges. So the build has been broken down into 14 weeks. The start of it handed over from CPB. Surveyors coming out to marking everything out for DMG. All the footings getting installed. Then the truck movements coming from Coral Quarry and then the actual erection of the plant starts to take place. So the first thing of the mobilisation is the delivery of the asphalt plant on site Western Sydney Airport. It's the biggest mobile asphalt plant Borrell owns, T400, it's a pretty big deal. There's a lot of permits goes into moving something this big. Prior to transport, we undergo planning and coordination between our logistics team and Western Sydney International team and work closely with the New South Wales Police to escort us. Tonight we're shifting the dry drum trailer from Emu Plains to the Sydney West Airport site. We've got to be on our toes to navigate these machines properly. It's about safety and getting the job done without any impact to public vehicles or machinery. Today we're installing two hot silos, unloading from the truck and positioning it on the stands. I've got a 160 tonne crane and a 60 tonne mobile crane. When you're using two cranes it becomes a critical lift. There's a lot of risks involved, a lot of planning involved, a lot of pre-preparation from lift studies right through to ground compaction. The biggest thing is sharing the load equally. As the item's turned, the main crane takes a greater percentage of the weight. We'll have the asphalt manufactured, tested. We know it's going to pass before we start loading our trucks. Another benefit of an on-site asphalt plant is faster turnarounds, greater flexibility and lower impact. You're off the roads more, you burn less diesel. A dozen trucks or so will work with us each day and they'll just be doing constant loops to and from the airfield from here. Once the plant is built and commissioned, then we hand over the plant to our production team. Then they will be able to service the runway and taxiways of the airport. So we're looking to start batching on lane mix. Timelines are very crucial, so trying to get everything sorted is a big priority. We've actually chosen Dunmore Quarry for this job. We engage with the quarries team really early in the piece as well. We are supplying a number of different aggregates that will all be transported from our quarries to Western Sydney Airport. We had to go do a full pit review of, of the source here and, and we actually selected the best rock to use in, in this airport. We run a mobile crusher just to get the quality correct. The process starts with drill and blast right at the top of the hill. From there we get excavators and face loaders to load the rock into haul trucks. The haul trucks bring it down to the plant, run through the plant, make it to single size aggregates.
The quality control on a job like this is quite intense. There are huge requirements for durability and strength given the application of the final product. We have an on-site lab and lab technicians which are constantly testing the product before it goes out. We need to make sure everything is in a spec and make sure we are providing very good quality material to our customer. They've got the expertise, they've got the equipment, and ultimately they've got a lot of testing capabilities and all the on-site labs, so they provide a really good product. Next steps, we've got a team out here priming at the moment, so that's Boral Spray Seal team. Who doesn't want to spray an airball? You know, it's gonna be here for a hundred years. Priming is a combination of kerosene and bitumen that's blended. We don't add any aggregate or rolling. We spray that on the runway and it's just that bit of interlayer um, to help provide the best bond for asphalt to the granular pavement and um, the best surface for the planes. What it also does, it protects the works so that the water will run off, so it does actually weatherproof your pavement. Since the plant has been commissioned, we now have two crews out here completing all the asphalt components of the works. We have approximately 145,000 tonne of asphalt to place over the next seven to eight months, which is going to be a challenge, but we've got a great team out here. Everyone's excited, everyone's super enthused to be out here to deliver a quality job in a safe manner. A typical paving day involves two paving crews equipped with two pavers, two MTVs, around 14 asphalt trucks, and around 30 people. The process starts behind me here at the asphalt plant where our asphalt cartage trucks are loaded with the asphalt material. They then proceed to head out to the runway where the crew are working, where they then dispose the material into the MTV where it's transferred into our paver. The crew then pave the material out onto the runway. Having a source right here, it's quicker for the trucks to come in and out so we can get the volume down as quick as possible. At the end of each shift, we pizza cut it, make sure they've got vertical edges. We go from one side all the way across to the other side and we keep the joints between the asphalt runs hot. That's part of the quality requirements of building an airfield and we aim to be putting down more than 2,000 tonnes every day. Also on site here at the asphalt plant, we have our laboratory technicians. On an average day, it's five asphalt tests. So that will be consist of gradings, binder, content, uh, compaction, stability. Our field tech uses a nuclear gauge to check the density of the mat, make sure that the um, compaction is all within spec. From there, he uh, writes a report and I collect that information and I uh, review and then I submit that into our lot packages. If it doesn't fall within specification, we immediately stop production and we identify where we have the issues. On an airfield, you can't have anything that isn't right. The surface has to be exactly where it's supposed to be. You've got to be able to shed water at the right rate. There are all these rules around the glide pass, around your light. The asphalt's got to be a really high spec strength to be able to take the aircraft loading. It can't rut, can't deflect. It's a really high intensity specification to make it. And then to place it, you've got to put it in the right place, millimetre precision. Yeah, there's a lot goes into it. The crew's doing a great job. We're very proud to be out here, to be working on a project in our backyard. It's really cool that we're a part of shaping Sydney. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, you know, you don't really see many airports getting built. It's just nice playing your small part. To be able to work on this project and tell my children, it means a lot. Hopefully one day, get to go on a holiday and use the runway. It is an honour to be part of Borrell, working on this project and to be part of history.